Let's continue. Seeing what they can do to us and seeing our transports or cargo vessels get off after supplying Sebastopol. Um, I should, just haven't, partially because as um, Ben Bishop was pointing out, um, I don't know what his stats are, so I probably go back to an infantry unit, I think is what was good with him. But I should do that. <laughs> Uh-oh, here comes the fighters. Well, we need more fighters, I guess. Good thing I didn't get rid of them. Let's see if we fully remove one. Not quite. Not quite. They keep running away from me, these guys. Well, they seem to be focusing on my... Well, we can probably keep them next to the aircraft anyways. There's some escort effect. out so well. That's better. You fall back. You charge for Uncle Joe. We'll reinforce you. Let's drive out here into the open. Hey, thanks for following us. Really do appreciate that. Well, are we ready for this? I know they drove that other infantry unit back. Their turn.
And it looks like our heavy infantry will be able to occupy it. Which will allow me to hopefully kill the Stugs here. Yeah. There we go. Well, that gives us the K. Ooh, they got anti tank guns. Ooh, that isn't nice, but, well, what are they? Um. Hmm. They're gone, so they're gonna move up here to threaten the anti tank guns. Not gonna worry about the anti tank guns. We've got KVs, yeah, we took a little bit of a hit. But no, I'm not gonna move right next to them, not gonna give them a free shot. Now, over here. Um, okay, so far you doing fairly well pounding that down. Yeah, no, Milan was a very, very hard hit place. That's for sure. Yeah, that would be nice. Um, I really love Field of Glory. I think it, it's a wonderful game. It just goes back to tabletop miniatures, and they do it so well. Um, I would love to... Don't I don't know anything about, you know, what's happening planned or otherwise, but yeah, I would love to see more of that. Wish they'd have me stream that more often. Okay, um, no, I don't want to lose the Victor Hex even temporarily. Well, I guess we can advance now. Let's see about advancing up. Advancing up, we've sort of seen their attack in this area. We still have all the pillboxes. Okay, well, um... into the heavy infantry here. Do you have any advice on how to handle the initial German assault scenario? In Red Star, I tried it a few days ago and I just got overwhelmed. Well, yeah, I do have some good advice for it. Um, hold on just a second. Just a second. Where are we at here? Um, I don't know if you, you're talking the Kolkengal or Kolkengal, however you, um, uh, talk about that. Well, 
Well, there you go. Follow that link to my YouTube channel. You can um, just um, go there and bookmark it, subscribe, but that's a link to the Red Star um, five, epi five episodes through to Poland. If you want to check out, that's sort of easiest, best way, because quite honestly, I don't remember in detail, but I think it went fairly well, and you can see how... Um, Oh, fight Germany in the campaign. Oh, um, what do we think? Red Star? First is, um, you're fighting Japan. And then you're going after Poland. And then you go after, um, Finland from the Soviet perspective, but, you know, because they also have the Winter War a DLC. After those. Okay, well, yeah, I don't have the German one there, but you can see what I've done for that there. That's the best, best I can give you right now. Okay, let's... Yep, you're holding there, you're holding there, you're holding there. Okay, good. They're leaving again. Exit stage right. They're running away from my AA guns. More and more. Well, that worked out well. I gather there's a German airbase up there somewhere. Yeah, I figured that might happen. Get shot in the back. Okay, well, good they had some fighter protection there. Stugs think they're doing. Oh, I'm giving room for them to attack, maybe? I don't know. Okay. Ouch. I knew I had to sort of kind of worry about them. Uh, ouch. Ooh. And these are just mostly minor annoyances at this point, but yeah, okay. Um, you fall back to here. You guys come up to here. Well, that didn't work out so hot, but okay. No, you stay right where you are. Okay, good. We didn't... Blindly bump into these guys with the T thirty fours. I do like that effect that we're seeing the barges down at the bottom of the sea. That's cool. Oh, there goes their trans, their supply transport. I guess I don't know what they're thinking. That is supposed to be. Heavy 
if we really can get there now. Not the best for infantry against tanks, but sometimes, you know, Uncle Joe says attack. Pressure up on them. Well, hello. What are these? 100, yeah, 170 millimeter. And who is that? I don't know in charge. Don't recognize him. Yep, we're chasing the Stukas down. They'll occupy the town. Okay, you guys land. Nice take off. Let's see the rest of the air. What's going on? We're getting munched by these Germans. Um, back to base you're just getting maybe a little too weak um, we don't want to go there so let's let's bomb the we're kind of people what's your opinion of the most underrated well I don't know if it's most underrated, but the thing that I always bring up, which is an old favorite of mine, is Steel Panther Pixel. That's to me as a hidden gem. It's it's old as all hell, but I think it still stands up. Uh, I guess maybe theoretically or something, you could do a graphics update to it or something, but uh, I don't even know if it needs that. It's been a long time since I played it. And I have not played, I don't own the um, latest Slytherine version of it. There's, because I go back in the days when I first got it, it was from SSI. Yes, thanks for following. And so, yeah, that's, I mean, that's the one I'll, I'll bring up right off the top of my head. I'm not saying there aren't others or whatever it's that's just one that's just there um not this turn not this turn not this turn next turn with more artillery we'll pound on that 
come down here pretty quick. Well, it, there, it's been a long time. Sort of broke off into um, two versions of Steel Panthers. One was like what, uh, Camo Productions or something. There, I think it may still technically be a free-to-play game or free game. One version of it. They got to um, Steel Panthers got a modern version of it it's like steel panthers 2 if i remember correctly and then like steel panthers 3 or whatever which which moved tanks from being like a single unit into being if i remember correctly sorry i may have some of this wrong into being like a, a platoon which i didn't like as well homeward bound or transport supply and supply vessels exited the sector and are close to reach their home ports very good very good. Okay, your offensive was a limited success. What? We're done? No, this isn't 20. Um, well, I guess we got the limited success as German. We're driven from their fortified position. Moscow is still concerned about the ongoing siege of Sevastopol, but refuses to send more reinforcements to the general situation. Okay. Okay, well, I guess because we got this and we got the ships off, destroy targets at Fredoja in 10 turns, we didn't get. Um, we got two of them. We didn't, I guess, get the... Um, the AA guns. But we got the supply transports there. Yeah, camo workshop. Uh, a bit different from the world that we're based on sp3 that the matrix publishes yeah uh, th there are some yes i thanks for putting up there there's two in modern but didn't work as well the scale was, was off for the later warfare yeah i agree ps um i owned steel panthers too didn't like it as well as the original um and yeah you thank you pixel i didn't remember all the different there, there are several versions from it. Yeah, and I... I don't know if there's a best between the Matrix published version versus the Camel Workshop um, version of it. 